I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I spent a lot of time before starting this video wondering if I should start dressing nicer in my videos, but I think by the looks of it, you can tell what I chose. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Cheers. This is my second coffee of the day as it should be. I'm gonna need this for today's video because as we all know, it is 2023. And personally, my absolute favorite part of any new year, aside from the pork and sauerkraut that we eat on New Year's Day, because I'm from Pennsylvania and that's a tradition and it's a beautiful thing. My favorite part aside from that is the refresh, reset things that we like to do in the beginning of the new year. One of which I would argue one of the most important, at least for me, is a closet clean out. So with the new year brings another closet clean out video for me. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna go through this bad boy. We are gonna be as hmm, harsh as possible. When I feel like I have clutter, I feel weighed down. It makes the rest of me just feel sluggish. It's my entire apartment is like that, honestly. Like I really need to go through the whole thing and declutter, get rid of stuff, but that is not, I don't have time for that in this video. So today we're doing a closet clean out and then I also am going to force myself to list the things that I take out of my closet and decide to sell. I bought all the supplies. I, I have all the supplies, which I guess is good. Right here, this is a scale. These are label cover thingies. These are the mailers. I have all the supplies. I bought them because I told myself I was gonna do this months ago. And then I clean my closet out. I have all the clothes. Guess where they are? <laughs> Guess where they are? Right here. On the floor of a closet. That's where they've been for months. I can't see my shoe rack. I can't access anything in here. It's awful. I don't know what my problem is but I legitimately took all these things out of my closet because I needed more space on the racks for new things. That's another problem that we can address later. It just felt like too much work to list them. But now I'm at the point where I'm like, these things need to get out of my closet. Like they need to get out of my apartment. I don't have room for them. So I'm gonna force myself to do that. One of my resolutions, if you will, mindsets that I'm trying to adopt for the new year that will directly at least attempt to help my clutter issue is for every new thing I bring in, I take one thing, one existing thing out. Either I give it to a friend, I donate it, or I sell it, or I send it home to be put in my little like capsule wardrobe type of thing that I have at my parents' house. Not only do I have no hangers, but I don't have room for them anyway. It is so like packed in here that it's hard for me to get anything in. So that's when you know you have a problem. I haven't even hung up all my new clothes. I still have some sitting to the side because I don't have space for them right now. So let me go grab those actually. Here are my new clothes. I'm really excited about them. I just need to make room to hang them. So I have six things, two of which are workout tops. I'm not gonna count this methodology for workout clothes because I don't have that many workout clothes to begin with. All these things are from ThreadUp by the way. And ThreadUp is actually sponsoring today's video. God bless, once again, I love working with ThreadUp. I think this is my favorite ThreadUp haul I've ever done. I'm not gonna lie. If you don't know what ThreadUp is, they are an online thrift and consignment store with over 30,000 brands at up to 90% off of estimated retail prices. Let me go through the clothes I got and I'm gonna share some of my like pro tips and reasons I love using ThreadUp. Like I said, I got a couple of workout tops. If you watched last week's vlog, you would know that I talked about how I started going to workout classes, so I've been in need of some new workout outfits. I really, really like getting workout tops on ThreadUp. I've gotten some from there before these ones, and I think that it's honestly such a smart idea because they have the brands that I know and love, like this one is Aloe. Aloe is my favorite athletic wear workout clothing brand, my favorite, my absolute favorite. It literally looks like it was never worn. Great condition. This was estimated retail $57 and I got it from ThreadUp for only $25.99. I love it. I love the color. I love everything about it. It's honestly such a great option if you're in the market for some workout clothes and you want to find some that are more affordable. And then the other workout top that I got, I was so floored about this because when it came, the tag was still on it, like the original tag. So this was brand new with tags, never worn. It's from Athleta. This is really cute little navy tank. I have a pair of navy leggings, but I wanted to have a little tank to make it a set type of thing. So this is estimated retail $49 and I got it from ThreadUp for $19.99. Over half off and it was brand new, never worn with tags. And it's from Athleta, like that's a great brand. So then I got some winter things, which I am so excited about. Like I cannot wait to show you. I got four other things. That means I need to take four 
existing things out of my closet. I got this black tank and I really enjoy this because I like this exposed white stitching. I just think it looks really cool and I don't have anything like this. And this is from TNA, which is Aritzia and Aritzia brand. If you know me, you know I'm an Aritzia girly. And Aritzia is extremely expensive. Um, my pro tip for thread up is instead of typing in Aritzia, type in TNA, Babaton, Wilfred, Wilfred Free, the sub brands of Aritzia, type those in and you'll find way more stuff than if you just type in Aritzia. I learned that and that's like my best tip, honestly. This was originally $48 and I got it from ThreadUp for $18.99. Then I got two sweaters, which I've been really on the hunt, I've talked about this in previous videos, for some good new winter and fall sweaters. I found this one from Ralph Lauren and I am in actual love with it. Tell me this isn't so cute. I don't have any sweaters like this. I just feel like this is so, it's giving ski lodge. Are you kidding me? I love it. This one was originally $95. No, not today, babe. I got it for $32.99. Yeah. This next thing, I've been looking for this specific type of thing for a very long time. I don't own a black sweater, a black turtleneck sweater. Shockingly, my life hack for that is if you're looking for a specific item like a black turtleneck sweater or anything generic like that Instead of going to in-person stores check thread up because you can literally just type in black turtleneck sweater And it'll come up with literally thousands of options. I scored. I I won. I won with this This is a J crew sweater. It's beautiful. I love it so much. It's so soft. It's so cozy This one you guys sit down sit down. This was originally a hundred and four dollars I believe it. I've shopped at J. Crew. It's expensive. Okay, $104. I would pay $104 for this because this sweater rocks, but I didn't have to because I got it from Freda. I got this for $29.99. I'm in love with it. I wore this on Christmas Day to my Christmas church service over like a black dress with some like high black boots. This is so versatile. Having an oversized black shirt neck sweater is one of the most versatile pieces that you can have in a fall slash winter wardrobe, I think. So then one more thing for this specific haul, I got a windbreaker. I think windbreakers are sick. I've been really into navy lately. I got this beautiful Columbia windbreaker. It's in great condition. I'm obsessed. I love windbreakers. This one was originally $64 and I got it from ThreadUp for $33.99. That's a steal if you ask me. I love it. Okay, so that's it for my haul. I am also very excited to tell you guys that ThreadUp has this new feature where you can actually shop my picks. If you go to the link in my description, click the link, it'll take you to a page and it'll show you the picks that I have thrifted lately and then you can shop similar ones to me, which is like really cool, I think. It makes it so easy to get outfit inspiration and just it automatically generates similar items based on the ones that I got. So you can shop my picks with the link below and at checkout, you can use code HANNAH for an additional 35% off of your first order from ThreadUp. Thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited about all of these things. I've actually worn half of them already. All right, back to the closet cleanup. So now I have four items that I need to take four out of my closet for. I really need to like force myself to stick with this new mindset resolution or whatever, because if I don't, that is how clutter accumulates and it makes me upset. I actually listened to, I'm sorry, I keep talking and I will get into the closet cleanup, but I, this is my channel and I want to tell you guys things. I'll start grabbing the bags that are on the floor and then going through them again to figure out what I want to sell and I'll start a sell pile while I tell you this. Because I think this is important and not only is it important, I just found it super interesting. So last night at approximately two in the morning, for some reason decided to look up the TED Talk the paradox of choice. I've heard about it a ton. I don't know how I've never listened to, th to this TED talk before. TED talks are something that we listen to quite often, honestly, in high school. Like there was always a TED talk to go along with something, especially in my public speaking class. I don't know how we never watched or I've never listened to the paradox of choice. I've heard of it because it's one of the most like famous ones. I feel like, I don't know if that's true, but anyway, it was from 2005. And essentially, the guy was talking about how choice, having a lot of choices is supposed to be, make humans happier because it leads to more freedom because there's more options and you have more freedom than to pick what you want. So that's the theory, but in reality, it actually does the opposite. So having too many things to choose from actually deters humans from making a decision at all. And the reason I listened to this last night is because I first of all agree so much. Like I feel this in my own life. I'm bringing it up now because it kind of has to do with every aspect of life, including 
clothes and the things that you own. Clothes are a trivial example, but when you have too many options to choose from, it makes you not want to choose anything because it's too much to think about and it's too much effort and like we don't want to do it. So we just put it off and put it off and put it off. And I'm somebody who I put off things that I know that I have to put a lot of thought into and there's a lot of different options and I'm anxious that I'm not going to pick the right one. Things like that come up in my life all the time. When there's too many options, it raises your expectations. So if you were to make the same decision with less options, there aren't as many other possibilities that could have been better, if that makes sense. There weren't that many to choose from, so you can feel more confident and at ease knowing that the one you picked is like good enough. But when there's too many options, there's so much more room for error or at least perceived error because even if something is good, your expectation is perfection. Nothing is ever gonna be perfect. I mean, it's probably, your expectations are so high that they're probably never gonna be met. And then you're gonna think and regret your decision because you don't know if it was the most perfect one because there's so many. That's kind of how I feel about, do I wanna get rid of this? No, I think this shirt's funny, I should keep it. That's how I feel about having too many options with clothing. I really, really, I've been saying this for years and I've never done it. I really want to be more minimal and intentional with the clothes that I have. And I think I did do a good job of that for the most part last year. Like I, the things that I bought for the most part were like staple good pieces that I'm happy that I got. But I just think that having a staple wardrobe and then some pieces to like dress things up and make the outfits different is the best way to go. You don't have to have a thousand different things that they only are really used for one specific occasion or you can't, they're not versatile. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not versatile pieces. That's not what you want. Having too many options makes it harder to choose rather than having like staple basic pieces that you can easily throw together and they interchange with each other that then you throw one jacket over, you throw a purse over and that's the statement and it's easy. Like it's, you know it fits you well, you know it looks good together, you know you can dress it up with a statement piece of some kind and you're out the door. That's kind of where I'm at with everything. <laughs> and that's why I need to get rid of everything I own. What are these? Okay. I have a lot of things to sell. This sell pile is hefty as f This is horrible. There are some things that I really don't know why the f I even bought them. Like, it's just embarrassing. And, okay. That's that bag. What else is in here? Oh, there's like random tote bags. Okay, well. Anyway, so I listened to that TED Talk last night and it made me feel even more compelled to do this right now. Let me show you my progress. Okay, this pile so far is... The cell pile is a lot it's very wrinkly because it's been sitting in a bag on the floor for months okay these things i'm gonna ask my friends if they want this i decided i'm keeping for funsies these things are the donate pile so far so i probably should get a bag to put these in like a plastic bag this is what we have to go through i really should do shoes too but i don't have time for that at the moment then i have this side of the jackets dresses and coats Oh, and then I also want to go through some drawers in my dresser. So this first drawer, I mean, for obvious reasons, it's packed. This is my pants drawer. So I have a ton in here. I only wear like a very handful level of jeans. I have so many jeans and I only wear some of them, but I feel like with jeans, I feel like if I get rid of them, then I'm gonna regret it. That's my problem. Like, I feel like if I get rid of things that I don't wear right now, then I'm gonna think of them in the future and be like, I need this specific piece of clothing and if I don't have it I'm gonna get upset I mean it won't be that serious I'll just have to figure something else out but that's my problem and that's what makes it difficult for me to get rid of stuff there's always that thought in the back of my mind that I'm like what if I need this in the future this specific thing for a specific outfit and I don't have it anymore that's how I feel about jeans I feel like I need to have every single type like every fit in all different washes. I feel like I need to have a light, medium, and dark in all of those things. And that's my problem because then my drawer looks like this and I just have so... I never wear most of these. Only on specific occasions do I wear these. I, I wear this and I wear these. I wear like a handful, but then only on specific occasions do I wear most of the other, like probably 95% of these. So I'm like, do I need them at all? And then my other thing is fun pants like this. They're fun in the summer because I just wear like a basic small top with like pants, but then I just can't see myself wearing them. Like I feel like I just need to pick a style and just stick with it and not be bopping around. Like I feel like I just need to stick with the basics and then I can have statement pieces in the way of jackets, sweaters, bags, and shoes, but everything else needs to be minimal and simple and I can just intertwine them type of thing. I feel like my vibe really is just simple, but it's also the most practical 
and the most timeless. So I don't know. And they're the most interchangeable pieces. Like I can wear them with so many different things. That This is my problem. Like these are the thoughts that are happening in my head when I do things like this. And then this is the paradox of choice. I have too many choices. I can either keep them or I can get rid of them or I can keep them to wear with this specific thing. And it just makes me not want to do this at all. It makes me not want to do the whole process of the clean out at all because it's too many decisions that I have to make and I don't want to make them. Of course, when I come back in here to film, my radiator is squealing. So I'm going to start going through my closet while it's squealing. And then when it stops squealing, I'll talk to you again. my main camera died in five minutes so i guess both of them were actually dead i don't know how this keeps happening to me but it's I, it must be my own fault because i must have forgot to charge but i've sorted through i've accumulated enough hangers to hang some of my new clothes up so that's what i'm gonna do now and then i need to keep going through i have my cell pile i've found some things i'm gonna give to friends they've claimed and then i need to get the bag for the donation pile i also went into the drawers already and i started pulling out some things i know i want to keep some things i want to try on some things i want to get away get away give away so that's where we're at we're making good progress i'm gonna start hanging some things up so i can clean up my floors a little bit <laughs> I'm also a Bills fan now. If you're a real Bills fan, don't come for me. I'm still an Eagles fan, but I'm rooting for DeMar Hamlin's team in the game that's playing right now. <laughs> the Eagles start in less than an hour. Oh my God. I fucked this white turtleneck up that I love so much. I accidentally threw it in with the dark colors. So it got fucked up and now it's like a tint of blue for some reason. right now is that I have spring and summer clothes and my fall and winter clothes. I can't get rid of the spring and summer clothes. The only thing I could do is take them back to my parents' house, but I'm not making like a big trip back there where I can bring a bunch of stuff. I don't know the next time I'm going to be doing that. I think they might be coming up in the next couple months, hopefully. So if they do, I guess I could send some things back with them that I don't need, but I'm also like, I need to be an adult and just have all my shit in one closet. Like I just need to be an adult. So maybe I will just suck it up. But I feel like that's the problem because all my winter stuff, fall and winter stuff is bulkier. So I have a bunch of sweaters in here now that I've accumulated, finally. I had no sweaters. Yeah. things behind me on the couch this is that's in front of me not behind me be for real these are for try on purposes ew i hate the reflection in the mirror that's terrible now they're behind me the things behind me are i'm gonna try on i want to sit down and remind myself how i did this in the first place like how i sold my stuff when i did it before you can choose your own like shipping fees like you can set your own fees so i was using pirate ship when i did this last time i think i still have my account but i made a whole chart with both of the size mailers that i have and how much it would cost to ship them if they were under a certain amount of pounds 
above a certain amount of pounds. I just remembered that I need to renew my P.O. box. I don't see paper that says shipping fees. I thought that it was at my parents' house because I swear that it is. Like, I know it has to be there. I just don't know where, but she couldn't find it. So now I have to try and figure out what the hell I did. So now I'm making a chart in my notebook and I have to figure out what I did. Because I remember the dimensions of the mailers, but I know it was something with weight and it was, it was like, if it's above a pound, then it's this, but if it's below, you know what I mean? I don't know, I gotta do research now. Hey Charlie, what are you doing? Is it this? Up to one pound. So I ended up finding these charts on Pirate Ship, which is the website that I use to make my shipping labels and stuff. I just ended up adding up all of the prices for each weight class to each of the different zones. There are eight zones and then I add them all up and just divided them by eight to get the average because I include shipping in the price that I'm listing for. So it's just kind of like a way to gauge how much you should add to the item price to cover shipping. Okay, I think I figured out, I think I figured out my little chart. So now I need to pull out my ring light because I have tons of stuff I need to take pictures of. I also need to get food. I could look in my freezer and see if I have anything. I ate all of my leftover pasta. I don't know if I should order something. I didn't do any grocery shopping this week yet. Today is Sunday and typically Sundays are the days that I'll get groceries, but today was a filming day, is a filming day. I might just order something. I think I'll do all the shirts first because I don't have pants hangers. So I have to put clothes pins on the regular hanger. Ooh, girl. Ew, I don't want to be in it. Wait, I'm stupid. I'm literally shooting it in a mirror. I go, I don't want to be in it. Dog, I'm gonna be in it, it's a mirror. I did not think this through. Okay, I just took photos of all of the clothes. I did front, back, and then I did the tag where the brand name is, and then if there was anything else important, like close-ups of tags from the store and all that. I'm unboxing my scale. here and fill out all the listings that I'm gonna post that they're up and hopefully someone buys something. Okay, I made my first sale. Shout out Corinne. I'm gonna pack the order right now. She ordered a bundle so I literally shoved them in here as hard as I possibly could. I just printed the label. Got the label. Wrote her a little note. I'm gonna stick it in the bag. We got it. I got these little things on Amazon and I bought these for when I did this in 2021 too. You open up this thingy and you can stick the label in there and it's a little four by six label pocket so that it protects it from rain or anything and it just sticks on the front of the mailer. Very convenient. Literally just slip it in there, peel off all of the backing, apply it to the mailer, then take off the other piece of backing to seal it shut. But it looks like this, and that's it. That is how I package. I think I just got a couple more orders. Yay! What did I sell? And then what's great about Pirate Ship is you just put all their information in, you buy the label from them, you print it out from there, and it gives you the tracking number. I'm gonna process my orders, and then I will get back to you when I'm done processing my orders. Oh, <laughs> sup. I finally ordered dinner. It's nine o'clock p.m. I'm gonna take a second and sit and eat this. I've been packaging orders. I've sold most of the things 
that I've listed, which is so exciting. I just put them all in my like grocery trolley thing. It's packed to the brim. I'm gonna take it to the post office tomorrow and send those out. Oh, this is so warm. This makes me so incredibly happy. Yes, I'm using my ottoman as a table. I don't feel like sitting at my table right now. I'm gonna turn myself around because my TV's over there. I love to watch YouTube when I am eating. I feel like that's a pretty common experience. Like people like to do that. I'm not gonna be listing anything else tonight. At least now I have my system down and I have all the information I need for listing. So it'll be easier to do it in the future. I now have two bags of clothes for donations. Hi Charlie. She says mom will run in a business. So I'm gonna eat this. All right, bye. Hey, it's me. I'm editing, but I, did not make an outro to this video. Since the last time I filmed, I took my big grocery cart trolley thing of packages over to the post office and I sent those out. Got another order tonight actually, so I need to package that up and I'll probably drop that off at a post office tomorrow. The bags of things that I'm gonna donate, I have two places in mind, I believe, that I want to donate. My friend posted on her story and asked if anyone had any recs for where to donate clothing in New York City. And somebody said that they volunteered at a shelter that was really in need of like winter clothing items and like just jackets, warm clothes sort of thing. So I have a bag of stuff that I separated with those things that I'm gonna donate there with my friend. And then the other bag, I'm gonna donate to another place that I found, I think it's called Green Tree Textiles. They have a few drop-off locations around the city. That's my plan for that. This wasn't even a crazy clean out whatsoever. Like this is actually a very mild one in comparison. It's probably because I already cleaned out all those clothes that I just listed and sold and I'm donating. I cleaned them out already. I just never did anything with them and they sat in my closet and just built up over time. So I still feel really good that I got that done. Anyway, so that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Again, thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna check out ThreadUp, you can click the link in my description to go to the page and shop my picks. And then you can use code Hannah at checkout for an additional 35% off of your first order from ThreadUp. So take advantage of that for sure if you're interested. Like I said, link will be down below and that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed till this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. I never know where to look on my laptop. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Love you so much. I hope you have a great week. Bye.